guys oracle grower here and uh making progress baby passengers head is off and wouldn't you know i'm not sure i don't i'm not sure if there's anything wrong here people <laughs> right um so now i got both both heads off and i'm starting to clean up things already got one uh we got this head down in here. That one's already ported intake and exhaust all ready to go. This one has to get thoroughly fucking cleaned. Lots of water here. And uh, so I wanted to make this video and show the difference actually between the 6-2 gaskets for the NA and then uh, 6-5 high output for a 95k 3500 6.5 turbo diesel gasket so let me make this comparison real quick here uh which way does this go goes like this yeah. so here's a jaco head right see the uh fire ring protrudes out and that's to make way for the bigger valves Um, now we got these heads. Oh, let's just set that right here. All right, so a couple differences. Uh, the six five head is coated uh, from from Molly. They coat it. The six two is not. The six five head has complete circles for the cylinders fire ring and the 62 does not they're kind of wonky looking like it's a face with uh, earphones on or something i don't know um and probably and and also another difference is the width here in the center between each cylinder is smaller on the 6.5 fire rings damn near meet there and there they got plenty of distance so that's another difference um, and then the biggest um, difference is where my gasket blew right so this is not the gasket that blew this is the other side but this is where the gasket blew. Okay, so it just goes straight from firing, straight to straight to gasket, and freak a leak, right? Uh, and we come down to the 651 and freaking A, baby. Look at that. Reinforced, all metal. Freaking all nice and... Uh, Oh crap, I guess it's only one side reinforced. Well, I guess one side's better than no side. Uh, damn. I thought it was going to be both sides, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, so basically, yeah, that's reinforced with the metal, the firing. Um, reinforced all over there. And that's where you're going to be blowing most gaskets, is this coolant port. You know what I mean? These side coolant ports. Which, I'm now questioning why exactly, you know, I, I blew the fucking gasket here. Uh, but, you know, it wouldn't have really mattered if I blew the gasket there. Because there's no water, that there's no water port right there on the block. There's one back there, but there's no water port here. Now, if you come onto the head, you got a water port there, and you got a water port here. The only reason you have two water ports on these heads is so they can go on either side of the block, okay? But if you're going to use the exact same head for the exact same side of the block, you know, I'm just wondering why I wouldn't be able to come over here and 
take some weld and fill that in, right? Just come in there and fill all that. Because there's nothing. There's not. There's nothing. There, it goes nowhere. It does nothing. It goes into it. It it just hits the fucking block. So, I mean, you, I'm gonna think about it. I probably won't be able to get around to it because it has to go to the shop and yada yada. But, uh, just I guess for future reference and for anybody else who maybe has wondered about that, it's fucking useless. It does nothing. So, that's where the gasket blew too. I mean, if that wasn't there, and it was just blocked off like that, fuck, I wouldn't even have noticed. Maybe that's why they did it. Who knows? So, uh, and then I got some shies have grown up in there already. This thing not running for almost a month. A month, damn. And I didn't know that uh, the gaskets I had on there were the... Uh, 10 overs, the 10 thick. Um, so maybe that also is why the gasket blew, because uh, the thicker the gasket, the weaker it is, right? And honestly, you're not, you're truly not going to lower the compression all that freaking much. I mean, here's standard thickness for the Molly. There's 10 over. I mean, there's a marginal difference. I mean, yeah, it, it looks thicker, but seriously, at the fucking end of the day. Okay, so uh, um, what else did I want to show here? Um, yeah, and then because the 6.5, you know, is is bigger than the 6.2, so that makes these closer, way fucking closer versus here. There's decent meat before the firing. Whereas here it's just boom, bam, bing, bong. You know what I mean? Um, which, you know, isn't a problem. Because I don't think there's problems that happen there. I think most of the problems are always right here in the freaking corners, dude. If I can remember correctly. That's where I think I've always blown my gaskets is right on the edges. But uh, now I'm switching. I'm switching to the uh, 6.5 gaskets. And these were, I want to say they were Felpro that I had put on the last time. Felpro. Fail Pro. Huh. I don't know. But these are the Mollies. 121 fucking bucks, baby. Better be good for $121. Um, um, what else was I looking at here? And then I was looking at the comparison between the 6.5 gaskets, uh, the space between the firing and the cylinder. Right? So you can see that the, it comes up just about to the edge of the cylinder. Except right there where it Trudes back out. But you can see there's just a little bit of meat. Just a little bit of meat there. Not much hangover from the block on the gasket. Now, let me take this 6.5 gasket over here. And go ahead and close on the block. Real quick, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up here, Chief. It's not that hard to do. Okay. Mm. All right. So now this is six five gasket, and you can see that the block protrudes out from the gasket. significantly more not too bad though really but definitely uh there's definitely more hangover there so you can actually see 
the hangover versus let me pause this versus this so yeah I don't know I just I don't think it's gonna bother anything honestly just something to look at and think about you know because they're not you know they don't line up with the cylinder or there so my my worry using these gaskets I want to use them but my worry using them is because of this extra gap space between the cylinder and the firing here and then when the cylinder heads clamp down on top pushing down that means you're going to have this much of a space before the head gasket which means that the combustion pressures are going to be pushing up and then packing into the side here so i'm a little worried concerned about that i don't know if that's going to affect uh you know the uh, uh, the longevity of these gaskets you know under boost and all that extra boost going up kind of getting crammed in into that tiny space would that help to push the head up more gosh man I don't fucking know uh, and also with the studleys over here I decided uh, last time I took them to 120 this time, I'm going full scent, baby. I'm going 130. <laughs> yeah, I'll try 130, honestly. Um, but I'll do the regular torque sequence up to 120. Um, and then I'll just take it to one. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll just take it to 130. Or or I'll do the regular sequence up to 120, but I'll instead of doing 120, I'll just do 130. Um, and then I'll let it sit overnight, come back, and retorque everything. Or should I just do everything to 120, then wait overnight, come back, and torque them down 10 more foot pounds to 130? Um, those are the two different ways I was thinking about going about it anyways um now i'm gonna start cleaning this head up and get to doing a little porty work on this you can see where the black from the exhaust hits on the bottom there yeah so you can grind all that grind all that away all right and later guys meow